which is the forward solution phase. Now, after we solve for the vector z, what is the next step we do? The next step we do will be look at, the, look, look at this equation. L transpose time x is equal to y. And assuming we know vector y, and the reason we know vector y is because, if you remember from the previous slide, from the previous slide, let's take a look. From the previous slide, we already saw for the vector z, uh, z, correct? And then after you saw for the vector z, after you saw for the vector z, we can use the so-called diagonal scaling step to find out the unknown vector y. Okay, so after we solve for the unknown vector y, then finally, we go to the backward solution phase. This phase, we can solve for the original unknown vector x. And the reason we can do that is because the matrix L or L transpose, we already know it at the end of step one. And the intermediate vector y, we already know that after we go through the so-called diagonal scaling phase. And so finally, we can solve for the unknown vector x. And again, you can observe carefully to solve for the unknown vector x. First, we need to look at the last equation, which is the third equation. Look at that equation first. From the last equation, we can solve for x3. Then, after solving for x3, we look at the next equation, which is the second equation. And from that second equation, we can solve for x2. And then after solving for x2, now we look at the first equation. We can solve for x1. And therefore, in general, we get a f general formula given right here to help us to solve for x sub i, where this subscript i could be i could be either 3 or i could be 2 or i could be 1 so using equation 28 or the one below that we can solve for the original vector x and that will uh, take care of the original unknown so let me quickly go over for, for one numerical example for you again we make use of the original equation a is equal to b and a is given the same thing like before the vector b is given the same thing as before we want to solve for the unknown vector x so let's see according to the procedure the first step step number one is to figure out the factorized matrix and that means we have to find out the diagonal matrix d and have to find out the lower triangular matrix l and based on those equations that we already derived for you earlier. Now, specifically for this example, we want to calculate D11 first. And according to the formula that we developed, the general formula, D11 can be calculated by this formula there. And notice, this summation k go from 1 to j minus 1. And because j equal to 1, so j minus 1 is equal to 0. And this summation, you cannot go from 1 to 0. And what does that mean? It basically means skip this summation. So all you have d11 equal to a11 equal to 2. L11 is equal to 1. This is always true because the diagonal of the matrix L should be always equal to 1. And so after that, we use another formula to calculate L21. This is a formula to calculate L21. And again, for this case, you need to skip the, this summation because you cannot go from k from 1 to 0. Okay? So this L21, after you substitute the numerical value for A21 and for D11, we can calculate L, L21 is equal to negative 0 
And then using another formula, we can calculate L31. Using the numerical value substitution, it turned out to be equal to 0. Notice the order of computation. We calculate D11, and then L11, L21, and then L31. What does that mean? It means we calculate column 1 of the matrix D and the matrix L, just column 1. After we finish that, we move on to the next step. We want to calculate the diagonal D22 based on the same general formula. However, this time you can see the index in here k go from 1 to j minus 1. And in this case, j minus 1 is equal to 1. And the reason is because you calculate D22, so j equal to 2. Okay? j equal to 2, that's why j minus 1 equal to 1. So, basically, this summation say you go from the index k equal to 1 to 1. And that means you do have one term inside the summation. And after plug in the numerical value, we can calculate D22. After that, we calculate L22, which is, we don't need to calculate it because L22 is always equal to 1, because that's a diagonal term of the lower matrix. Then finally, we calculate L32 according to the general formula. Then substitute the numerical value, then we can get the value for L32. Again, notice the order of computation. We calculate D22 first, then L22, then L32. In other words, we calculate column 2 of the matrix D diagonal and column 2 of the L matrix. Finally, if you go to the next slide, we move on to calculate the diagonal term D33 based on the general formula. This time, because you want to calculate D33, that means J is equal to 3. Therefore, J minus 1 is equal to 2. And that means this summation right here, you're supposed to have two terms. And after substituting the numerical value, we can calculate D33 equal to 0.3333. And that will be it. So that means right now we just cal calculate column 3 of the diagonal matrix D. So at the end, we know the tree value of the diagonal term of the matrix D. We also ca already calculate the tree value of the lower triangular matrix L. And we keep in mind that the diagonal of matrix L is always equal to 1. So at this step, we already know D and L matrices. The next step will be the forward solution phase, which basically we want to solve this equation, Lz equal to B. Now, remember, please, this L matrix, you already know based on phase 1 factorization that we just finished. And this right-hand side vector, B, is given. So, this forward solution phase, we should be able to calculate the intermediate vector unknown Z. In the long form, it is shown in this equation. So obviously, from that equation right there, we can look at the first equation, and that can help us to solve for the unknown Z1. After that, we look at the second equation, and that can solve for the unknown Z2. And then finally, look at the last equation, the third equation, that will help us to solve for the unknown Z3. So in general, all the unknown Z1, Z2, or Z3, they are all equal to given by equation 32. I 
still have lots of television. But it's okay. Battery. Battery? Okay. <laughs>